Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Back in episode 66 of the Guitar Builders Basics video podcast, uh, which is a, a daily show where I answer people's questions, we were talking about how to recess the control knobs uh, in your guitar like PRS do. And uh, I said in that podcast that you can't really use a drill bit to do it um, because you would then have to round over the sides of that drilled cavity by hand. And to do that by hand and make it even is very, very difficult. However, I've come up with a, a different option. And it involves modifying a flat bit. And I'm going to do it for the first time ever and experiment and uh, take you along with me. I have here a lovely, old, rusty 25mm center point drill. And I have a lovely record power um, eight inch bench, bench grinder. Now what we want to do is round over or grind off a nice radius on that side, on each side. And I'm sure you see where this is going. In fact, I don't even need to show you anymore. That's the idea. Go away and do it. Goggles and protection. And if you're going to be grinding metal for any length of time, you also really kind of need to wear a mask. But um, let's have a go. The point's getting in the way a little bit, so I have to stay at the edge of my wheel. And you also don't want it to get too hot, so you need some water to quench it in. Which I happen to have just up here. The joy of having a tool making workshop. Easy. Now, if you want this to cut, you have to do some clever things as well. It has to be angled, and uh, and again, this is a little bit more. I'm doing this by hand. This is probably not the safest way. In fact, I'm almost certain it's not. We play around with metal a lot. Yeah, I'm just judging the radius by eye. As I'm doing it, I'm thinking, do you know what? I should have stuck a round sticker on each edge or something to get it absolutely perfect. This is a proof of concept and uh, also a bit of a lesson on how to do it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to move on to a belt sander very quickly. Now, I would like to grind away. If you grind, you see how you've got a channel in there. If you grind away inside here and inside this side, on the other side of the bevel, it creates a, an overhang and that then cuts better. For now, I'm not going to bother doing that because that then turns it from a prototype into a real tool. Uh, so yeah, as I said just now, what I should really have done is put a round sticker here to get an even radius on both sides. I've judged this by eye and it's pretty close. Um, the next time I will do this, uh, I'll do it properly.
Okay, I've roughly tidied up the edges. I'm just going to have a quick go with the diamond stone. This is a 300 grit. Just on both sides. It's always better. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course, it is always better to have a nice flat surface and a nice sharp tool. And essentially, that's your cutting edge there. Um, now I'm going to just find a small diamond cutting stone, I suppose. Um, yeah, we'll do that there. And, uh, yeah, just turn those edges into something that actually cuts. A little shiny. Um, let's test. If you don't want to have a circle stamp or sticker or something on each corner to, uh, to mark it out, you can, while you're making it, do this just to see how, how accurate you are. And, uh, and that actually, except for a little dip there, it's pretty accurate. So my shape is, is pretty cool. Let's see how it works. This is into maple. Seems this has gone ever so slightly off center as I've been drilling through. I think. But, but the principle is sound. There you go, here's a little knob. And that's recessed. Now imagine that on a, on a um, carved top where sort of half of it is carved away. And uh, the awesome Japanese saw file. Now essentially you are going to have to go in here and uh, oh, let's just tighten that up properly. Uh, you're going to have to go in there because it's going in a full circle there's going to be some tear out Tidy that up with a bit of sandpaper, but really, that is, that's a pretty cool thing. I want to do a second cut just to see. It does seem to be going off center, I think. Yeah. Anyway, so mine, there's uh, something wrong with it. <laughs> the geometry is slightly wrong and uh, it's slightly sliding off that way but uh, you can make this yourself you can use any size flat bit you want to sacrifice and go from there <sighs> ah, I'm really happy with that so this has been Crimson Guitars Thank you very, very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, check out our YouTube channel, all of the other tutorials and the daily-ish video podcast, etc. And, uh, and all my lovely tools, goodbye.